All right, and neurons, we continue onwards uh, with this really, really fascinating group. Uh, we've looked at some of the, just the general biology. Now we get into a little bit of the ecology. So if you're a little frog, you're a little toad out in the world, there's a lot of predators. You're, you're quite low in the food chain, right? So there's a lot of defenses that we see happening with, uh, with these groups. So one is just what we call cryptic coloration. So camouflage, if you can look, if you can appear uh, like the environment that you're in, make it difficult for predators to see, that, that increases the chances that of, of survival, of being selected against. So if you're a green tree frog in a green forest, that's really good camouflage. Here we have a little canyon frog uh, that looks like the color of the granite rocks, so very difficult to, to distinguish. That's one strategy, look like your habitat. Another strategy is very, very different. Um, don't look like your habitat. Look very, very different, brightly colored. Um, and these are what a lot of these poisonous uh, little frogs will do. So they, they want to advertise. They're not trying to hide. They're trying to make themselves known, uh, walking around with very uh, high degree of confidence that they are toxic and, and nothing's going to mess with them, right? So we have this toxicity of being poisonous. And we have this idea of mimicry. So we have the poisonous uh, dart frogs here, and then we have non-poisonous mimics that look like the, uh, like the really highly toxic forms. So it's a lot of neat ecology that goes on with, with these groups. So this is just an example of uh, try to, what we call cryptic coloration. So this is a little close up of a frog in a kind of pond environment, we call this duckweed. And this would be very difficult to see if you're not really, really looking, searching. And unless it moves, you might overlook that very easily. Uh, mossy frogs, uh, they look like moss. They're bumpy, um, very, very good camouflage in, 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 their, in their habitats there. Uh, horn frogs look like dry leaves, right? so they have little points, little angles like a leaf would have, like a leaf tip. They're brown, they look like the same color as these dark leaves, so very, very difficult to see on the, on the forest floor with low lighting and lots of fallen leaves. So really, really good uh, camouflage, cryptic coloration there. Uh, we call these Pac-Man frogs. Uh, kind of same idea, you live on the forest floor. You have green patches, there's the frog, there's the snout. Is facing that way, the eye, the other eye. Little patches of green because there's patches of green leaves, brown because there's dry leaves. So again, really, really good cryptic coloration there. And these actually are, are found in, in, I'm not going to say in El Paso, but very close. They're, they're found anywhere in, you know, in West Texas that we have water supply. You can go out to New Mexico, Arizona, and we can find these not too far from here. So these little canyon tree frogs, they're gonna mimic the coloration of all these boulders. They live next to ponds and streams. Uh, and again, you can see it there. Pretty difficult to spot if, uh, you know, we're searching for them here, but um, if we're out, you know, just walking around or predators moving around, it very easy to overlook there. So there's that you know, little tree frog, which says a frog, it's bumpy again. It, it doesn't always hold true that frogs are smooth, yeah? So uh, pretty good camouflage in my opinion there. Uh, another cryptic coloration, um, look like your background. And the best way to look like your background is if you're clear and all you see is the background. So here we have this centronella, we have these glass frogs. Um, very difficult to see because again, the light passes through them, they're basically translucent. We can see um, their internal organs. Uh, they're so clear. Uh, these have laid eggs. They got a real neat uh, defense strategy against uh, predators on the eggs. I'll let you check out a video later on that. But uh, really, really good camouflage there. Uh, Physalamus or Physalamus, this is a really neat defense strategy. These little frogs, dwarf frogs. Um, it doesn't look like much, but let's say we, we're a predator and we come and start kind of messing with this little frog. It will turn around, face away from us, puff up with air, 
and extend its legs. And I want you to notice this little blotches right here, it's this dark blotch. Uh, when it's scared, it turned around and whoa, right? So it's the same frog, same frog that has turned around and now it kind of mimics little eyeballs staring at you. Like imagine you're some predator, like, oh man, what is that big predator? You know, uh, it's got the little, little tail. There's a cloaca, there's a little quote unquote nose, the eyes. And again, it would look like a mouth structure when it moves the, the hind legs. Right? So uh, pretty effective at scaring away um, some of these uh, smaller predators. So a neat strategy that it's amazing how that evolved, right? But that's a neat uh, defense mechanism for these little frogs. Um, with this, let me uh, shift uh, another discussion here. So let me backtrack here. Let me stop here. 